Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games in Shanghai. I'm back now in Shanghai and I, I feel well rested. I was in England uh, around a week ago for about two weeks. And before that I was in the Paris Game Connection event. And some of you might have seen the video of me walking around in there. Uh, so I feel well rested even though I might not look well rested, but I do feel good. But today's video I wanted to do a fast one on the Amazon App Store because recently what we did is started to integrate in-app purchases in our freemium games so games that are free uh, and the ones that are, are on the Amazon App Store the reason that I wanted to do this is one is because that we need as developers and this is for everybody we need to always increase the exposure of our, of our games so the more markets or app stores that we're on the more visibility we are, the more visible we are the more downloads we get and the more potential revenue we make so I'd heard some good things about the Amazon App Store. I'd done a little bit of research and browsing around and, and just for example, I, I saw this one the other day and a couple of guys said that the, the conversion rate, the, the amount of revenue that they make on the Amazon App Store is way better than Google Play and even iPhone. And I didn't see another, I did see another website, but it actually showed that roughly the Amazon App Store and the iPhone App Store in terms of the number of in-app purchases, the percentage, is about the same and then Google Play was way down here and I think one of the reasons is because the Amazon App Store have like their one-click method uh, mm. for purchasing uh, anything inside of their applications uh, and they have a long history of, of like e-commerce as well so the, the, I'd read about it and so what I thought was hey let's let's get in-app purchases inside of our Amazon App Store games as soon as possible so for us we basically have like nine live games at the moment and I just submitted Killer Shooting Sniper X recently, and that went live just a few days ago. And that in, that's the first game of ours on the Amazon App Store to include in-app purchases. So, you know, uh, this basically, I wanted to sort of show how it's doing so far in the first few days. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it terrible? Did, we, did anybody purchase? And uh, the answer is yes, people did purchase. And so far, it's much better than what... The purchases are on Google Play and now I just want to say that this is not conclusive at all this is only the first few days and the data here could be skewed because these purchases that I'm about to show you basically could be people who have previously downloaded the game like we've had several thousand downloads of the game over the past few months they could be updating the game and then making the purchase for these for the weapons that are in the game so it, it might be completely skewed right now, who knows, okay? So just to give you the data breakdown here, and let me just make sure that I've got this updated report here. So since the 13th to the 18th, so over this past week, we've basically had uh, 1,845 downloads. That's across all of the games, as you can see them listed here. Uh, the one that we're going to focus in on right now is Killer Shooting Sniper X. And I'm going to update the report. Now you notice that these numbers are not big. This, this is very sort of indie level stuff. You know, this is very small studio kind of stuff, which is, I guess, more relevant for you guys out there who are, who might be sort of listening through a forum or something like that. So, um, you know, please tell me if this data looks similar to what you're getting, or maybe this is just way, way, way lower. Who knows? But uh, so okay, so the past week on Killer Shooting Sniper X, we had 574. Uh, downloads and installs and the game's free so obviously that didn't make any revenue but we've had 16 in-app purchases in this past week from 574 downloads which is roughly a 2.78 percent conversion rate so what that means is 2.78 percent of the players actually purchase something in the game and we have three in-app purchases in that game we have a one dollar a three dollar and a five dollar and I will expand these here so that you can see them so rifle 2 is one dollar rifle 3 is three dollars and the rocket launcher is five dollars and as you can see here so today uh, or yesterday I think US time yep we had one person who purchased the McNamara which is the three dollar rifle and on the 17th one person bought the rocket launcher which is five dollars one person bought the rifle for three dollars and then three people bought the rifle for one dollar so um, 
Yeah, I mean, in, it, it, like I say, it's not conclusive, guys, but basically over this past five days, six days or whatever, it looks like the Amazon App Store is really, really pretty good compared to Google Play. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have any Google Play data on me right now. I'd need to sift through that to check it out. But our Google Play downloads are not very, very large. Um, but this is, actually a, this is actually a lot better. So what I probably will do is a part two video later, and that shows, hey, was this data consistent? Did it, did it continue in this, in this direction of, of being roughly 2 to 3%? Or was it just because it was, a, it was an update and therefore previous players were downloading it, downloading the update, and then making the in-app purchases. So who knows? Uh, I don't know if 574 units relates to updates as well as new users. I don't know if that's the case. Um, but so far, you know, it's pretty exciting to see this. So, you know, the, I think the message is, guys, you know, get on the Amazon App Store so far and, and give it a try. It The integration for us to put the Amazon in-app purchase API in the game was very, very simple. Where we use plugins from Prime31, that's uh, prime31.com, and I always recommend their plugins. They do, they do an awesome job, with great support, and it saves us a huge amount of time and a huge amount of effort in, in uh, doing things like in-app billing or, or ads and things, advertisements and so on. And, but there is at the moment, if you go to the SDK section here, if you click on this, and go to, uh, if you go down to in-app purchases and then click on more, it gives you the the Unity three uh, API for free, so you can go in there and you can integrate it with with uh, your Unity Android game. So definitely check out the Amazon App Store, guys. Is is what I'm recommending because uh, as independent developers as as small studios, uh, probably a lot of you guys are. It's so so important to get your application or your game into the hands of as many users as possible, as much exposure as possible. Uh, and relying on just one Android market is not good. Um, you need to spread it out as much as possible and, and uh, marketing obviously comes into that as well. But actually being on more app stores is is maybe even more effective, who knows. Uh, but definitely check out the Amazon app store anyway, guys. It's very, very easy to sign up. Just go to developer.amazon.com, fill in your details. Uh, you'll need some payment details. Like they can, I think they can send through PayPal or something like this. And, but it's very, very easy to set up and, and get your game live. They do have a review time of roughly one week, which is very cool uh, because it actually means that once the game is live, you won't get many surprises. For example, on Google Play, they might just check your application on randomly, and if there's a problem, they'll just suspend it, and that's sort of flagged as, like, say, you know, that's one strike out of, say, six strikes or something like that. So I'm actually liking, I'm actually liking the Amazon App Store a lot more so far. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it at that now, and and you know the message is check out the, the check out the Amazon App Store and try to get your games on there. Uh, I'm going to come back and do more of these videos soon because I've gotten a lot more requests for business related or sort of how to make money in the in the mobile game market videos. So, but for now, guys, everybody have a great week, happy developing, and I'm going to catch up with you all very soon. Okay, bye.